Oh. Yuli, you see everyone? I do, yeah. Okay, everyone can hear us? Sweet. We did it. This is the first, I think this is our first time having four people on. So congrats, gentlemen. Also, congrats on your, your captaincy. Thank you. <laughs> um, how much how much uh how much time and effort went into the actual draft on your guys' part? Way way more than it should have. Um you know, time one where we tried to do it, uh, we had technical difficulties. Oh, I'm not even talking. Uh, wait, I'm not, even talk, I'm not talking about the actual production side. I'm talking about you um, guys on like, did you guys have a draft board? Are you running like calculations on who you sh who should play with who? Like, what were you guessing like, who's picking who first? Like, yeah. he's taking him for sure. I'm gonna go here. I know I was. You were okay, Galvin. I I was not. I, I wasn't. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, it, my, the most time I, I spent was in, uh, production, um, and <laughs> failed production attempts, but, uh, we eventually got it and, uh, you know, I drafted someone that wasn't even playing in the end. So you could say okay. I did good. Here's the thing. <laughs> I, I feel, oh no, that's not true. Is that true? You drafted somebody. It wasn't playing. That's amazing. He was on the list. He was on the list. It was okay. Eagle, but oh, yeah, he okay. ends up dropping yeah, out. Yeah, dropping. All right. Well, take us through. Who who's your guys' teams? Here, I'll list. I'll list them off so yeah, that way it's yeah. easy because I got the list right here. Do you have um, them in draft order? I, I believe. Uh, I mean, I have them in the order that the Disc Golf Pro Tour posted them. So is the, is is that in draft order? I'm gonna go ahead out and limb and say no, it's not. Why would okay. they do that? But here we go. We're gonna try our best. So here's uh, Team Isaac. We've got Ezra Robinson, Gannon Burr, Cole Rodolin, Kyle Klein, Aaron Gossage. Team Calvin is Ricky Wysocki, Matt Oram, Anthony Barella, James Proctor, and Chris Dickerson, who is the replacement for Eagle. Okay. Isaac keeps coming in and out. He gone. No, he, I, I think we can still – Silas, can everyone still hear Isaac? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you're, I, I you're, see him. I lost him now. Lost him completely. There he is. I, I have, I've been and able to see Isaac this entire time. It's wow. like, it's like draft day number one all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is already advantageous to Team Calvin. If we're putting, if we're putting bets down, the guy that can get the Wi Fi situation, I got to go with Team Calvin here, Yuli. I'm always going to go with Team Calvin. You know why? Why? My only all-star appearance. I was on Calvin's team, and he led us to the promised land. <laughs> <laughs> I lost. I lost very badly. Very, very badly in all the it was, events. It, it was a team effort. We all... <laughs> Oh, uh, we coasted, and even with Eagle making the craziest putt I've ever seen till this day, I can't believe you made that putt. That was, that was a wild, wild putt. All right, I think we got Isaac back. All right, my first, my first question to Calvin. Calvin, was there any? I mean, I think you already answered this, but I do, I do want to ask again. Was there any thoughts of potentially drafting certain people that could really throw off? Um, I mean, I think there is potentially like someone that Isaac would really want on his team. Was there any thought of trying to snag that person that might have like the same bloodline as Isaac Robinson for your team? Oh, okay. Until the last sentence, I thought you were talking about Ricky <laughs> Wysocki, but, um, but uh, I mean, no, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just kind of picked the board based on who was available and, you know, he wasn't there when I would have picked him. So Gotcha. Um, yeah, there was no there was no head games going on there, but uh, you know Isaac didn't you know he didn't save him for last or anything. I mean I I think uh, I forget exactly where he picked him. It might have been his third pick. I think he picked uh, Cole Radolin. No, it was his fourth pick. I think I think he went okay. Gannon, Cole. No, he went Gannon, Kyle, Cole, and then his brother. But um, Isaac, were you worried saying. about about not being able to get your brother on the team and having to go against him? Uh-oh. This dude locks up under pressure. I mean, this is, this, this guy, it is, it is a, it's a catastrophe for Team Isaac here. I mean, this cannot be a good omen going into the All-Star event at all. I, I think really what happened was is I just picked the old people and, and he picked the young people. 
Uh, it, it's basically it looks how that it sorted way. out. And, it kind um, of looks that way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Gossage, I think, is the oldest person on that team. He's, what, 25, maybe? 26? I'm not exactly sure, but that's that's a guess. I, that's I mean, a freaking that's a that's a wild card right there. Nobody knows how old Aaron Gossage is. <laughs> Where did he come I, from? <laughs> no, he could be twenty two or thirty five. We don't know, dude. Um. All right, we're gonna continue to try to get Isaac in here. The battle, the battle is. Uh, hopefully, this is a harder battle for Isaac than the actual All Star event coming up, but. Do you guys have any idea what's going on with these like special like people? Are they are, are there special people coming in for events still? Because they they talked about that, but I don't have any information on that. Um, you is, know, I, I, is Isaac with one of them? He just looked at someone. Is he a special guy? Oh, uh, I think I think he's come. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so is, is, is Alden in the All-Star event for something? Where is this announced? You're not I, good I to know. go. <laughs> you're, not, you're not good to go at all. I think I think the Disc Golf Pro Tour is trying to cut Isaac's uh, uh, internet out here to not give out the details. <laughs> I don't know, I, uh, Silas. You gotta tell us because I can, I've I've been able to hear Isaac this entire time, so I don't know. I think we might need to boot Isaac and then like bring him in with just audio. <laughs> 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 the Disc Golf Pro Tour is, is trying to hack Isaac's internet situation right no, now. I think I think Isaac's hacking hacking this right now. He's taking <laughs> over. Um. Okay, Calvin. Do you know any information on who else is competing in that isn't an All Star, but is competing in the All Star event? I, I know nothing about that. I think I briefly heard someone talk about it when I was at the course the other day, and um. I mean, have you seen anyone really, there? It was news to me then. Like, is David Wiggins just like roaming around, and you're like, "Why is David Wiggins here?" It's like, oh, he's competing in the he's competing in the distance contest. I didn't see David Wiggins, but you know, if I if I did, I mean, what? Like, why is he there? He's just going to beat all of us, except maybe Anthony. It's like Anthony and him are the only two. Like, what are the rest of us doing? But um, no, I, I'm not exactly sure who they added to to the uh, skills competitions. I'm not actually Here, completely sure what the format of the skills competitions are this year. Here's oh, the thing. Oh, nobody, he's knows, back. He's nobody, back. Knows, nobody knows anything about the whole entire all-star thing. <laughs> nobody knows anything. I don't know. Who, uh, this is Wait, the first I think time. Isaac knows something. Isaac was trying to say something before. He, right. he knows, but he's not allowed to tell. <laughs> He keeps getting cut off. He signed an NDA. He's he's back. Back. He's he's back. Back. This is this is the first. I didn't even know Yuli was in this podcast up to this point. I, I had to oh god! Uh, I'm actually in Florida, dude. I'm coming in for the distance competition. What's up, What's Ooh, up kid? Those Z light Luke's. I I almost put Yuli in the distance competition when he was on my team in All Stars. <laughs> that would have been the worst thing you ever did to me in my entire life. All right, Isaac. So, what's the deal? Who 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 else is competing in these uh, special spots? Um, so I know Alden has a spot in uh, shot shaping or like skill shot or something. Um, I I haven't really been told much about it. I know I'm in putting, but uh, I found that out I think through Alden. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where this information is is coming from or uh, who's giving it out. But I haven't really seen a whole lot. So. Hey, make sure you guys buy your uh, Disc Golf Network subscriptions for ninety nine ninety nine. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be <laughs> one heck of a show this weekend. Uh, must watch TV for sure. Um, okay, so you do you guys know how how the it's going down? Like you, I saw the doubles just get announced, and I think maybe we can pull that up as far as like who's the doubles. How did how did the doubles come about? Did you guys go back and forth, or how how was that selected? I think uh, I know I got to select my doubles teams um, 
I didn't know what Calvin picked. We kind of did that on our own, I think. Um, so I just put together the people that I thought would be good. And how are you? Uh, ma- how are you doing the matchups? I think it's by seeding, I believe. So I think I would be number two seed, and then okay. my partner, you know, brother would be, I, I guess, the number twelve seed or whatever seed he was. And oh, so wait. that combined. So you couldn't actually wait, pick your you own could, team then. Wait, so you couldn't actually say, oh, because when you initially said seeding, I thought you, I thought it would make sense for them to be like, this is the top seed, the second and the third. And so that way you put your best two here. Calvin puts his best two here. Or you're like, I'm going to put my worst two here. And just mm-hmm. hopefully Calvin puts his best two. And like, then we win the other two. But you're saying you just no, pick I- the three matchups and then just it works out the way it works out? No, I, we got to pick the teams. I think the the head to head matchups, right? So the way it looks That's like the most important was, part. <laughs> I think Ezra and I will be playing Calvin and Proctor, but we picked those teams on our own. But ne- but neither you or Calvin decided that those two teams are going to be playing against each other. No, that's wild. Oh wow, that's no, wild. No, there was no strategy there. Um, I, my teams were picked by a, a group chat where I asked if anyone wanted to play anyone with anyone. No one responded for a long time. <laughs> um, eventually, I got a text from Anthony saying that Ricky really wanted to play with him, but Rick wasn't going to answer in the group chat about that or something. So I put those two together, and then I put the other four names in a random team generator app, do and you, that's how we got the last two teams. Do you guys think it would be easier? For this whole process, if there was two captains that just didn't play and they facilitated all the matchups, I feel like that would make sense to me. That way there's no biased opinion about like, okay, I want to play with this person or I don't, you know what I mean? And then you guys are kind of hands off and you're just going out and playing. I I feel like that makes the most sense. Instead of like a a playground pickup game of basketball is what I felt like this is. (laughs) Yeah, that that could certainly can certainly work. Um, I I don't know. I still think uh, I just find when this event is is still very strange to me. Like you have an all star event from the prior year to start the next year, and uh, it's just I, I go into the event like not thinking of it as really much of something to win. I just I'm there. I get to see everyone for the first time and like four months and um I Isaac, just I think this fun. is a head game coming at you dude he doesn't care kind of <laughs> <laughs> I know which is weird because I care I care a lot <laughs> um, I'm there to win I'm not there to goof around so I, I, I'm sorry to ask you know. this question because I, I know you guys have so much information that the disc golf pro tour has given you <laughs> so I know it's I don't want you to rack your brains here what do you get if you win? Oh, oh! I don't know. That is a great question. Um, <laughs> I think. Get, what, what, what are we doing here, Yuli? What are we doing here? I, I think we get five hundred dollars. Oh, here's what I know. When I did the All Star event like a few years back, everybody got money but me, <laughs> <laughs> and we won. <laughs> I got no money. It says I got goose egg on my thing and my team won. I got I got nothing, dude. <laughs> That's straight up going, the truth. Going off of what uh, Calvin was saying a little bit about the, the, the timing of this event, I think initially when they – the timing makes no sense, but before it was like, hey, come out to Phoenix or come out to Scottsdale or we're doing it in Orlando – and it's like a nice, fun thing for the All-Stars, right? The timing still didn't make sense. But now it seems even lazier that they're like, no, we're actually just going to do it at the same event that the first event's at. To where it's nothing special. You're not playing. Like, I, to me, that seems crazy that they're doing it. Like, what were your guys' thoughts on it going at the same course? Like, you're going to play this course to start the season next week. Are you a fan of it or not a fan? Well, and did did you like it better, Calvin, in Tucson as like a separate a separate event? Um, 
Mm. Yeah, I, I think I think it was cool going going out to a separate venue and um, getting the chance to play and kind of you know getting to see a different different fan base out there. Um, we don't really get to play out there anymore, but um, yeah, I, I mean I don't know. It, it is also really nice now that it starts you know an hour and ten minutes from where I live, so it's hard. <laughs> a little biased. Really, it's hard to really hate on that, yeah. but. Um, all right. I, I, I do think it's cool when it's its own separate thing. I think it's, I mean, the yep. point is to kind of draw, you know, more people in and maybe from different areas. And when you sit and you kind of draw from the same people back to back weekends, I don't know. I, I think, I think, you know, there's going to be a lot of people interested in showing up the second weekend. And like, I don't know if there's going to be that much interest in people showing yeah. up this weekend. Okay, so I'm going to say two things. First thing is, I'm glad that it's happening. I'm glad that there is an all-star event. I think it can be a great event. I really do. Once they um, figure out all the wrinkles and smooth them all out, eventually this is going to be an amazing tournament. It might be this weekend. It might just be, like, spectacular. We don't know yet because it hasn't happened. Uh, the second thing is, is if I were doing it, I would want it to be, like, exactly halfway through the season, just, like, all other sports to where like you make the all-star based on your performance halfway through the season. You have a sweet event where everybody can take a break, go to this place, have a big um, celebration of the players or, or whatever, and then disperse for the rest of the um, season. That's what I would say. Um, but either way, I'm stoked that it's happening. I'm excited to watch it this week and whatever it is, Yeah. but we keep, like giggling and making fun of the fact that nobody knows what's going on. But I still think in where disc golf is right now, that's just kind of the way that it is sometimes with some of these things. Um, and it's just like these growing pains that we got to kind of, kind of work with, but I'm excited that you guys get to do this and we get to see the best players from last year be showcased at an event because they deserve it. Yeah. Any idea on the single matches? Do you guys get to pick those? I think that'll be the same. It's going to be based on how you were seated before. So like I will play Isaac and then Rick would play Gannon. And then uh, I guess, I think, I think Matt would probably end up playing Kyle Klein. It just depends on where, where you were seated or it might just be like your draft pick order as well. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. <laughs> it's probably going to be one of those two. Much. <laughs> I mean, I, I do know it's, I think the, the scoring as far as like who's going to win is going to be somewhere to past years to where like the doubles matchups are all worth a point and then every singles mm -hmm. matchup is worth a point. So there's more points available on Sunday than, okay. than Saturday. And then I think the only difference this year was the, all the skills events. I don't think those count for. Yeah. Did you, do point. you guys like that, that that's separated now? Those aren't, those don't accumulate into the matches. Are you guys a fan of that? I'm a fan. I think that's I think that's good. I don't know. It was it was really fun drafting people and having to decide exactly where you were going to put them in skills competition before you knew what the rest of your team was. Um, oh, that's really, right. You yeah. had, you had to draft someone and immediately say what they were going to do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I like I like that too. Um, well, Isaac, you that's, the, said that's much. also the only. I was just real quick. I was yeah. just saying that that's the only time that you guys are really all a team too right if like mm. someone's putting that's the only time that all you guys as a team are there because now you're going to go out in your matches you're not going to see anyone but no go ahead you you had a question for isaac yeah no i was just going to ask isaac like uh what are your feelings going into the to the weekend you said that you care a lot so have you been have you been captaining your team up talking to them how are you guys feeling what's going on or has it just been like you know, hands off, pick my team, go out there and do your thing. A bit of a uh, <laughs> bit of hands off. Oh, I think you can message me and said, "Oh no, I got." Gannon <laughs> messaged me today and said, "Your doubles teams are the worst." No, oh, no, we didn't hear anything except for your doubles teams. Work. No, he said Gannon. I think messaged him today. Is he, is he talking you're... about my doubles teams? I don't know if he said. He said Gannon said someone's doubles teams are the worst. I don't know whose team. Say that again, Isaac. Okay, Gannon messaged me today and said I did a terrible job at picking the doubles teams. Um, 
which I thought I, they were pretty good. I'm I'm happy with them. All right, let me and Brody pick. Let's let's pull up a couple of doubles teams, and let's just judge a little bit, Brody. That'll be fun. We don't even know the matchups. No, it doesn't matter. Just pull them up and see who they partnered up <laughs> with, and let's see where where they let. All right, let what are we doing? Let. Calvin and Calvin and James. That's a really good team. A B and Ricky. Wow, that's a really good team. Matt Matty O and Chris Dickerson. Wow, those guys are really good. All that's right, a good go team. Over to the other side. Isaac and Ezra Robinson. We played those guys in doubles. They're really freaking good. Oh, Kyle Klein and Gannon Burr. Holy crap. Those guys are really good. Cole Rodolin and Aaron Gossage. Oh my gosh. Those guys are really good. Let's see. All right. Let me, okay. Yeah. That was a little. I'm, I'm sensing a bit of sarcasm from Brody. <laughs> what do you so want let me to do? Me, All yeah. these guys are All right. good. All right. Let me go in there. Yeah. You go in just, there. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm looking at the Aaron Gossage matchup, and I think you should have put Gannon with him. That's what I'm saying. Kyle Klein, Cole? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let Gannon pick up the slack of the lackluster putting from from Aaron. Cole's a really good putter. Not as good as Gannon, is he? Cole's a good putter. I don't know. Is he is he as good as Gannon? I don't know. Has Cole? I don't know. Cole no. might have gotten better the last two no, months. We don't know. We haven't again. seen and it. Who's a better putter, Gannon or Cole? Let's be. Don't be silly, guys. All of us know the answer. Gannon's putting with new plastic. Oh my gosh, Brody, you're being <laughs> ridiculous right now. <laughs> it's not close. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm kind of with Gannon on this. <laughs> Okay, what okay. do you guys think of the course? What do you guys think of the course? Yeah. It's a really good putter. It. <laughs> no, it's really good. <laughs> um, I've gotten out there a couple times and uh I, I'm I'm liking it. It's playing it's playing tougher than it has in the past. They um there there are definitely some some really long par threes and um I don't know, as a whole, I think it'll be a good test at the beginning of the season. Um, there's same layouts or are they doing a different layout for all-star? I think the all-star is a different layout. We got an okay. email on that. I just haven't read the layout yet. So that's cool. Okay. But, um, yeah, I, I think, I think the all-stars will be, be slightly different than, than what you'll be seeing for the actual tournament. There's some uh, gorilla at- goal holes and some combo holes uh, from what I heard. Edwin Stats just wants to let everyone know that Gannon's C1X putting was 87% last year and Cole's C1X putting was 85%. Gannon from C2, C2 oh, Gannon was 40%. Cole was 27%. Oh, those are close. So that's a big, big oh. difference. Isaac, do you have uh, anything to say, Isaac? Um... <laughs> I think he disconnected. You keep disconnecting at the wrong time, bro. <laughs> That's so funny. You gotta get, get all those oh, guys man. in your Airbnb off of Minecraft, brother. I'm taking all the bandwidth from you. Oh man. Are, are, are you in Brooksville back. right now? No, I am. I am not at home. I am in a place with apparently terrible service. Yeah, but wh- where are you right now? Are you up in Brooksville? <laughs> no, I'm still in Georgia. Oh, okay. In Woodstock. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. do, you, do you like the course, Isaac? I do. I played it once three years ago. And oh. uh, oh, God. Oh, wait, this goes to the guy saying he cares a lot about this event. This event starts in a couple days. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's played the course three I'm years sorry, ago. Turlap came into just roasting poor Isaac's team, man. This is tough. It's, at, it's least, at least, at least he knows ago. that he has Alden on his team. Freaking Calvin doesn't even know who he's got going against them. Wait, Alden's not on his team for the skill shot. I don't know. I don't know whose nope, team. Skills Alden's. is all individual. Skills, skills is all individual. Dead. Oh, so there's no. Oh man, so there's no team. He's just he's just a guy. 
for skill. He's, he's trying to win he's shot shaping. Three point content or dunk yeah. contest. Cool. He's trying to be the best Got shot it. shaper. Yeah, that's my bad. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uh shaper. he i think he gets if he wins i think he gets this jersey which if anyone is interested <laughs> oh, um silas if you want to pull this up um trevor is really excited he said can't wait to get to order my all-star jersey for the all-star event looks like i'll get it in uh early april so <laughs> if you're <laughs> if, if you're super excited <laughs> And you want to support your team? <laughs> you can you can order your All Star jersey and get it get it in in April. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's reel it back, boys. Let's reel it back a little. Bit. All right, you you go. Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a sick jersey, though. I do have to say, Calvin. Sick. <laughs> do you have your jersey yet, Calvin? Worth the wait. No, no. I will get my jersey tomorrow during my media day. Um, oh, cool. Okay. So I, I will get them then, but I and do not is, currently have them. Is that going to be on the Disc Golf Network media day? Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be like live broadcasting. <laughs> oh, no. I, uh, I, no, I, I think a lot of what the media day is. Um, that comes up the pro membership. Hmm. Okay. okay. The, the DGN for us. I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> no, but I think a lot of the media day stuff that we do here before All Stars typically is stuff they use for like some of their their fancy graphics while they're doing the, the streams. Like they do weird. They've done like weird light show things, and I don't know if you guys oh, have ever seen yeah. it. a lot of that. Though the, a lot of that like photography and stuff was done yeah. like the prior year at All Stars. So I think that's mostly what's happening tomorrow. Makes um, sense too. You get like the biggest names, and you have them, you know, yeah. do all the cool stuff. So that way, when they're on lead card or something in a tournament, yeah. you have like a cool graphic to show. Yeah, I, yeah. I actually like that a lot. Yeah, okay. they're they're getting their their content ready for. Yeah, I'm yeah. curious. Question for both of you. We'll start with Isaac while he has service, which is important. What kind of captain are you before the tournament starts? The All Stars. Are you going to be giving a rah rah speech like the? making sure that everybody has matching hats and kind of like this team camaraderie. Is that the kind of captain you are? Or are you more of like a free flowing? I trust my team. That's why I picked you. No problems. Yeah. I'm a free flow kind of oh, guy. Okay. I picked them fully confident in their abilities. I don't need to tell them stuff. They already know. Nice. Calvin. Yeah, I, I don't have any speech, but I'll probably get everyone together and let them all know that um, Anthony is the most valued member of my team for, you know, <laughs> actually picking a doubles team for us. And then um, <laughs> let everyone else know that I'm disappointed in their lack of communication <laughs> until after I submitted the rest of the teams and the doubles team generator app. So Perfect. will either one of you be in, uh, initiating a curfew for your team? Yeah, some rules. No, Absolutely. no, I can't control them. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Will. Oh, oh, What's man. your curfew going to be? 830. I'm thinking like 943. Oh, yeah. well, that's after my bedtime anyway. So I'm I, I hate to ask, yeah. but do you guys have any idea when the event will start? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the uh, the doubles will be on Saturday, and the singles will be on Sunday, and the the skill shot contest will be on Friday. Okay, cool. All right, so just just be around your phone and wait for the notification to pop up on when it's going live. I don't want to um, ask this question either, but I'm <laughs> I'm hoping somebody knows. Is there any way to track this event on your phone? Other than the DJ. Oh yeah, U disc or um sorry. <laughs> because there's no U disc, so I, do you know? I, That's I, a great I, question. I asked on no the clue. social media post from um DGPT mm -hmm. and I got a lot of funny responses, but nothing <laughs> nothing came came of it. It was bizarre. I don't know. <laughs> I yeah, guess we I just have know. to book our tickets. Calvin, bro. can you just can you just text me how you're playing? <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, 
put together like a Google Sheets document that I can make Thank public, you. and I'll like plug in the scores from every yes. hole into it, so everyone can tune into my Google Sheets. And uh, that's good practice for the season. Yeah. We're all gonna have to be doing scores, so that is good practice. Um, all right, uh, I guess you know you, we got a couple minutes here before we have Missy coming on. Who honestly, at this point, we we get all the information we need. I don't even know why Missy's coming on. Um, but <laughs> it, it, anyone that's in the area, could you like? Uh, I'll give you guys a few minutes on like why they should come out and watch you guys play this weekend. Yeah. Well. <laughs> It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun one to watch, I think. I think with the safari layout of Olympus and I think the doubles match especially would be really fun because you're going to see stuff, you know, you're going to see people go for shots that they wouldn't usually go for. Um, so there's always that excitement. Um, I think the doubles teams are pretty good. I'm going to have to carry my team a good bit, but, but you know, that's just how it goes. Um, picking up Ezra Slack, but... Yeah, come watch the doubles. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, yeah, I think I think doubles is a format you don't get to watch. I think that'll be pretty exciting. Um, and I mean, I guess we get a little bit of head to head as far as the singles matchups go. So that's also pretty I'm exciting. Sorry. We 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 don't really have last year. We didn't get a match play tournament like we had the couple prior prior events. So I know this is not quite match play, but it's still kind of a head to head feel. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you have, you know, some of the best performers from, or I guess all the best performers from last year, um, coming out and playing. So it's definitely a, a good chance to, you know, get, get up and close to, you know, some of the best players in the world. And I do think it's probably going to be a, a lower turnout. So I think it'll be easier to, you know, talk to your favorite player if you, uh, if you're into that kind of thing. Also call to action. Let's not make it. Uh, smaller turnout. Go out there and support these guys. They mm. earned it. Mm. Whole entire season. Okay. I, I agree with that, but just picture this. You can only buy one ticket. <laughs> Are you going to go to the event that has 24 players or the one that has those same 24 players plus another 150? Or yeah, whatever but, it is, but I can't see Alden doing the shot shaping at the other event. <laughs> That's true. You, you can watch Alden shot shape the entire course. <laughs> uh, you make a good point. Not just a, a fake hole. We set up. Yeah, you make a good point, and this is this is going to be something I'm going to have to. I don't you know, know why you guys are the captains. I, I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. <laughs> I don't know how they came up with this. Honestly, Yuli, I'm starting to think they aren't the captains. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. After this interview, I, I, they might not be the captains. I'm not sure. All I know is Isaac has terrible Wi-Fi where he is. Um, he's gone. He's gone. I think he's done. But uh, okay. Well, yeah. Uh, we wish you guys both the best Seriously, of luck. Yeah. I think uh, you know. Hopefully, you guys have a lot of fun. I, I think ultimately that's what this event should be about: is the yeah. players having yes. fun, the fans having fun us tuning in and watching and having fun um but yeah have a good time down there calvin and i know uh we'll see you in a week or so sweet yeah i look forward to seeing y'all down here all right appreciate you brother